Okay, uh, there are brothers, they are setting up a camp here overnight and uh, selling burgers and some other uh, shoes and stuff. Where do they sit the camp? Uh, on Smooleith Coventry Road. Is it there? Uh, this, uh, this particular location, isn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah down yeah, here? Yeah. So, uh, just uh, before the uh, Marisons, yeah. uh, they set up a camp overnight and dumped their sure. rubbish when they finish. We told them many times, but um, uh, it's too late. So, uh, now there are too much rubbish here. Even last year there was a full lorry. We had to rent a lorry for it and two workers to fill it up. And uh, they just leave it when, when they're done. So this is the, the condition of this road and this area. You know, when I want to ask you a question. When people see this, they think it's coming from the shops. No, but, it's but not from the shops. It's the people, they set a camp overnight here. Night stall. I think, yeah, night stalls. And uh, I think this should be reported to the local council to uh, come and either ban them or... I, they're not even uh, uh, complying with the social distancing. It's too crowded here overnight. True. Yeah, so... Um, and you know also another thing, yeah? Are those uh, stalls licensed? Are they allowed uh, no, to open at night? No, they're no, not I licensed. Think they never ask. They don't have any license. No. The ones who open here, they don't have no license. Yeah, the footpaths are fully blocked overnight. And, uh, and this is the stuff they leave behind, yeah? Leave every day. Yeah, is every this every day, day or just once? Every day. It every day. All over the footpath, I had to bring them together in the morning. You know, yeah. I saw You know, I saw that side was overpacked as well and they took down the... Uh, they lit us everywhere and then uh, leave their bin bags here as well, so... I want to ask you, are you from, uh, are, you, are you local uh, from here or are yeah, you I'm the shop? Local. You're I'm local. local. I, I but you, but you, here. you own one of the shops here? Yes. Fantastic. Yeah. So this brother here, your name? Please. Can I give you a name? Bashir. Bashir. Bashir, he doesn't want to be filmed, but he is willing to uh, document what's happening. He has a shop on this country road and he sees it at first hand. So I want everybody to know, the residents of Small Eat and the residents of Birmingham, everybody, right? These, this lit is not from the shops, these are from the night stalls. And they, I think they're operating from, is it 8 p.m. till 2, 3 p.m.? 2, 2, 3, yeah, 2 a.m., sorry. Yeah, 8 p.m. till 2 a.m. This flight tipping going on here and is giving a big major disruption to the entire community. Yeah. Yeah. Attracting rodents, rats. Look, pigeons are right there. And, and you know, how can, this is a, just when I was filming, a girl just about to trip over just Yes, there. he does. And how dangerous is, you know, Especially kids if can... you come uh, overnight, there is no, uh, you know, the footpaths are closed, there is yeah. um, stalls everywhere and uh, no social distancing and uh, yeah. then end of the uh, day, the littering everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And brother, your final words? Okay, um, you know, end of the day, we are Muslim and this is our community, so we should look after our area and our community. So this is not the, the that stuff other people should see on our streets so uh, we should keep our streets clean and our community and i'll and i'd like to add as well in the, this is the month of ramadan yeah it's the month what, of ramadan what, you know? what lesson are we giving exactly that's what i'm trying to say you know yeah. if somebody passing by this road to, from other area they would think this is the whole community doing this not the just nice story just so some just can... some bad individuals yes exactly nothing community just some bad individuals who are ruining it for the community yeah yeah exactly. and uh, i'd like to end it with uh, myself as uh, the Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, quoted, cleansiness is half your iman. Yes. So those who are going and you know you go, you know you, you know you fasting and everything, this comes part of your, part of your religion, part of your faith. You gave very bad. This is part. To people this well. is part of your, part of your daily task, your daily lifestyle. Yes. Cleansiness is half your iman. Is quoted by that. Follow those and these images are, are disastrous, but it has to be shared and reported. So the community wakes up a bit, yeah? Exactly. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.